further explain the sort or strength of recommendation taxonomy and to explain how important it is, here's a visual interpretation of it. On the x-axis is the validity of information. This basically follows the hierarchy of evidence that we've talked about before, beginning with traditional information, passing through observational epidemiological information, and ending up at the top of the hierarchy with evidence from well-done randomized controlled trials and systematic reviews. The y-axis, the vertical axis, describes the relevance of the information, moving upward from less to more patient-oriented evidence. At the bottom are effects on laboratory results or measures such as blood pressure, cholesterol levels. Uh, the next level has effects on organ systems. And finally, looking at the effect of an intervention on the entire person, looking at both the quality of their life and the quantity of their life, as we've talked about before, the patient-oriented evidence that truly matters to patients. So, sort C evidence can be either low validity or low relevance. Sort B information, or strength of recommendation taxonomy B, is information that's relevant in the sense that it's patient-oriented, but it's not necessarily based on high-quality research. Sort A information, the highest quality information we have, is both valid and relevant. It comes from trials that evaluated patient-oriented outcomes, and it is valid that it's from randomized control trials or systematic reviews that are done, um, done well. One of the goals of information mastery is for all of us to have all of the interventions that we do, whether they're therapeutic interventions or diagnostic tests or procedures, rated as being sort A, sort B, or C. So we know what the strength of recommendation when we are impl implementing those recommendations in clinical practice.